All right, now we are going to do your second exercise, which is the small drawer unit on page 427 in your book. So I'm gonna be drawing at one inch scale, so it's nice and big. I've already got my, my little starting point here. All right, so I don't know how big this is gonna be, so I'm just gonna make myself a little corner. Okay, so this is gonna be the front corner. The drawers are gonna be on this side and this is the side of the cabinet. The top of the cabinet will be up here, okay? So I've already written down my measurements to make this go quicker, all right? I'm using a one inch equals one foot scale. So I have, uh, it is three feet deep, so we're going to remember to lay this on the 30 degree angle. Don't measure it this way. Lay it right on the angle. All right, and there's my three feet deep. I measured all of these uh, measurements in the book, so I know how big this thing's gonna be. So we're gonna start with the overall dimensions. So it's three feet deep, and it's two foot six wide. So two feet six is to there. All right. So you can see it's starting to look like a little box. All right, now the height is four foot two. I already measured all that. I added up everything. So four feet, so four feet, one, two. Okay. Now the cool thing with isometric drawings is once you have one measurement, I can now draw the entire top of the cabinet without making any more measurements. And I love that, because I am lazy and I don't like taking measurements. So here they go. And yes, someone is sending me text messages. I'm sure you can hear that because I'm recording on my phone. So there we go. And there is your box. So let's Erase this just to get it out of the way. Okay, so the drawers are gonna be over here. All right, what we're gonna do next, once we've got our overall dimensions, we're gonna carve out the little toe kick down here. Now the toe kick is eight inches high and five inches deep, okay? So I'm gonna measure over here on this side, okay, because this is the side. This is the front, this is the side. So we're gonna have five inches deep, so five inches back, and eight inches high. So, what am I doing? Six, seven, eight, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna draw this on the side of the little cabinet. Okay, so this is where it's kind of carved out so you don't stub your toe. So this obviously goes all the way across, as does this. Now, we have to figure out where does it end over here. So we know that this is two foot six, side to side, therefore logically, this must also be two foot six, side to side. So let's come in here and we will measure two feet six, that's to here, and then go up like that. Now, once I erase these lines, it's gonna be a little more obvious what we're doing here. So that's, that's the toe kick. All right, now, so what we've done, we did the overall box and we carved out the little toe kick. I'm gonna go ahead and shade this in. You don't need to do this, but sometimes I've noticed it helps people to kind of visualize what part is underneath what other parts, all right? So in the next segment, we're gonna draw in the drawers.